The SNP has taken first place in the European elections in Scotland, comfortably outpolling Labour. Labour, though, still managed to hold on to two seats, the same as the SNP. The Tories won one, as did the Liberal Democrats. But the share of the vote tells its own story. The Nationalists were top with 29% of the popular vote. Labour were second on just under 21%, with the Tories on nearly 17 and the Lib Dems on 11.5%. Well, the SNP said it was a vote of confidence in the Scottish government. But Labour MEP David Martin said his party had been punished for infighting at Westminster. This from our political editor, Ryan Taylor. In procession, Scotland's Euro MPs, just six of them now, re-election, big impact. Scottish National Party, 321,007. No wonder they're cheering. That's the first time the SNP has topped a European poll ever. MEP Ian Hudgston. The SNP set a target of winning the election. We've won the election. We have humiliated the Labour Party and the tectonic plates of Scottish politics are changing forever. We won the Scottish Parliament election. We've now won the European election. We move forward to the next Westminster election. A vote for Labour in Scotland is a wasted vote now. Labour clung on to two seats, partly through the voting system, but this was a bad night for the party. I think it's appalling that during election week, senior members of the Labour Party chose to walk out of government to criticise the Prime Minister and generally undermine our campaign. Uh, I just don't think that showed respect for the candidates we had up, up and down the country or respect for the average and ordinary Labour Party member who was out knocking on doors. The Tory share of the vote fell slightly, but they polled well in target areas of Scotland. For the Lib Dems, relief at holding on to a seat. Same message from both. The message is to Gordon Brown, you are beyond your sell-by date, time to call a general election. The people have spoken, they want rid of you in your bankrupt government. And Labour just hung on by their fingertips to their second seat. I think the message to Labour was, Gordon, it's time to stand down and call an election. Scotland has one fewer Euro seat, the second Tory drops off the end. So, no real change. Except, except that voting share, where it's all changed. Well, let's go to Brian Taylor, who's still at Edinburgh's Market Cross. Brian, how do we read this? I think you read this as a very, very substantial SNB victory against a background of a Labour decline across the whole of the UK. In Wales, for example, Labour fell behind the Tories for the first time since 1918. Now, the Market Cross at Edinburgh here behind me has seen a fair few proclamations down the centuries, but the one they saw this morning was the proclamation of the first ever SNB victory in a European election coming on the back of that victory in the Scottish Parliament elections. You can interpret that as being at the very least that voters weren't deterred and put off by the record of the Scottish Government, but primarily this is a cry of anger and rage against the shenanigans going on at Westminster. And how buoyed should the SNP be over this? Well, you can, you can put caveats in. You can point out that their share of vote isn't actually as high as they got in the Scottish parliamentary elections. You can point out that the vagaries of the voting system resulted in them only getting two MEPs, the same as Labour. But, you know, it's voting share that counts because that's the one that gives you the projection to other elections and other contests. And on that basis, the SNP thumped the Labour Party. Thank you, Brian. So, more pressure on Gordon Brown today. Across the UK, Labour slipped to third place behind the Tories and UKIP. Well, let's go now to our Westminster correspondent, David Porter. As we've been hearing, uh, disastrous results from Mr Brown, both in Scotland and across the country. Can he still count on the support of Scottish MPs? Jackie, however you cut this, this was a terrible night for Labour in Scotland and throughout the whole of the UK. And as Scottish Labour MPs come down to Westminster here today, they have some soul searching to do. They have to basically decide, are they going to back Gordon Brown or are they going to sack him? We have a meeting of the Parliamentary Labour Party at six o'clock this evening. That is going to be a very important affair when we find out what Scottish MPs and indeed what all Labour MPs think. But paradoxically, because the results were perhaps so bad last night, Gordon Brown might be in a slightly stronger position. The argument runs that the results were so bad, there will be many MPs who've done the calculations and think, no, I don't want a general election now. I don't want to get rid of Gordon Brown. I don't want to provoke a general election now. 
because I would lose my seat and things would be bad. The Scottish MPs that we have spoken to, uh, almost to a man and woman, say that what happened for their party last night in Scotland was dreadful. At the moment, they are backing Gordon Brown, but the next couple of days are going to be vital for him. David, thank you. Other news this lunchtime.